What's going on guys? Shane here. Vince Anomaly. So Vince and I put together a weekly solo MMA training regimen for you all that you can do at home. No equipment or partner is needed and each class has a specific area of focus. Like today, we're going to be focusing on Muay Thai and balance, developing the muscles in our back, core, and hips. What do we got working on tomorrow, Vince? Well, tomorrow we're going to be doing some leg work, some power endurance, and some grapple movements. Cool. So you can watch Vince's videos and the rest of mine completely free on fighttips.com. But until tomorrow, we got to do some Muay Thai today. All right, man. So we'll see you tomorrow? Yep. All right, cool. Yep. Yep, we'll. Uh, let's do... Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. All right, time to get serious. Welcome to class one of six solo fighter workouts, where each class we have a specific area of focus within MMA. Today is Muay Thai and balance. Tomorrow is wrestling. Day three is boxing. Day four is Taekwondo. Day five is boxing part two. And day six, we round it all together with a full MMA class. Then you get a day of rest, and then you can repeat it. You do that three more times, and you have a full month's worth of MMA training. At home, no partner or equipment needed. All right, that being said, let's get started with the warm up which I like to start every single one of my exercises with. Goes head to toe, full body, very easy, very simple to do. We'll start at the top. Let's go hands on the hips, look up to the ceiling, down to the floor. We can do this 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we go left and right. Chin over the left shoulder, chin over the right shoulder. Do that two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, now we go ear to shoulder, left ear, left shoulder, right ear, left shoulder. That's two, three, four, five, getting a couple cracks, nice. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Working our way down, we're just gonna go arm circles backwards. Keep your arms bent or you can go straight arm. Again, we're gonna do this for 10. And good, switch directions, go forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, turn these into bear hugs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands can go back on your hips for rotations. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now you're going to grab either elbow. I want you to widen up your stance, have your toes face outward. And you're just going to hinge forward. Now bring your left elbow to left knee. Turn the elbow out. And we're just going to get a big hip rotation here. Then it goes right knee, right elbow. And then we're going to switch. Go in the opposite direction. Let's get 10 of these. So this completion will be two. Then we go back in the opposite direction for our third. Great way to stretch the side body, the low back, the core. Good. We're on our fifth rep now. And six. We're going to be working the core a lot today. So we're going to make sure we properly warm up the spine. Good. We're going to hit two more here. The final one. And good. Let's bring the feet shoulder width apart. Toes can still be slightly outward. And we're going to drop down into squats now. Make sure you get past that 90 degree bend. All right, so if you're doing your squats and you're stopping here and coming up, what I want your main goal to be now is really make sure that you can drop that butt all the way down. See, notice how my knees here, this is a 90 degree bend. We wanna get past that 90 degree. You still wanna keep the shoulders back so that your back stays straight. And it's okay to lean forward. You just don't wanna arch the back, all right? Just keep the shoulders back and down. Boom, dropping all the way down, getting 10 reps of these squats. Two more, and good. Let's just bounce in place, warm up the calves a little bit. We're gonna go back and we're gonna do squats for one more set. We're not, right now we're just bouncing on the toes, warming up the calf muscles. Sometimes we can't drop all the way down into our squats simply because our calves are too tight. It's a good way to warm it up right here. And good, let's widen up that stance again. A little more than shoulder width, toes face slightly out. And again, drop all the way down into your squats. We're gonna do 10, that's three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Make sure your knees are driving out like you're trying to spread the earth. And good. Now, 
I'm gonna slow it down a little bit and we're gonna go back to the calves. Let's go feet just about touching, all right, right below you. And we're gonna go up to the ball of the feet. We're already gonna to start to work our balance now. Now try to hold here, see if you can hold right in this position here and try to concentrate your weight into the big ball of your foot. So your biggest toe, that knuckle, try to balance it in there. Good, now try to go out towards the pinky so that the weight is on the outer edges of your foot. Good, now slowly lower so that it's the complete blade edge of your foot that's touching the ground. Now even more, try to rotate so that it's just your heels touching the ground. And then the inner edge of the foot. So we're making small circles. We're going up to the ball of the foot, then we're putting the weight into the outer edge, then the heel, and then the inner edge, and then back up to the ball. Then switch directions. So that we go inner edge first, then the heel touches, then the outer edge, then back up to the ball of the foot. And see if you can do that and just alternate each direction. Slower the better, working those small stabilizer muscles in the feet and then in the ankle. Great for balance, great for throwing kicks and knees, which we're gonna be doing a lot of today. Let's get one more rotation, full all the way around. Slower the better. And good, from here we're just gonna do a very simple, very basic, but essential warm up that you'll see in Thailand. If you've ever trained in Thailand, the kids will get home from school, they'll take their shoes off, they go on the mats, and then right away they start doing marching knees. So it looks like this. So we're gonna do that for two minutes. Let me break down the technique, then I'm gonna have you pause the video, and then just go up and back in your room throwing marching knees. All right, real quick, just how we do it. We're going to take a marching step with our lead foot and we're gonna stab the ball of the ground, or the, the ball of the foot into the ground. That's gonna give me this motion here where I can really start to march and spike that knee forward. Now notice what I'm doing with my hands. They stay bent and they go up overhead. Then as they come down, I wanna imagine grabbing their head, grabbing their forearm and pulling them into the knee. Okay, so my left hand grabs their forearm, my right hand grabs their head and I pull them into my knee when I throw my right knee. Then it's the opposite when the foot goes down. Now my right hand grabs the forearm, left hand grabs the head, and I pull them into my left knee. That foot goes down, back, and I follow through, okay? Think about the knee going forward. You wanna shish kebab them, you wanna spear them. So you should aim for their spine when you throw the knee, okay? Don't scrape them and go up to the ceiling. Go through them, bang, 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 okay? So when you pause the video, two minutes back and forth of marching knees. All right, how are you feeling? Hips, core, back, warmed up, ready to go? Ready to throw some kicks? Cool, we're gonna do just that. We're gonna pick the intensity up a little bit now. We're gonna do a couple of combos, followed by three calisthenic exercises, and we're gonna do that for three sets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down the combo and how to do the calisthenics, then I'm gonna do it with you in real time, and then I'm gonna have you rewind the video and then do it a second set, and then rewind it again and do it a third set, okay? So here we go. The combo is going to be a lead jab, rear knee, Rear kick, spin 180 degrees, cross, switch knee, switch kick, spin 180 degrees. All right, a little bit slower. So it's the lead arm, straight punch, then it's the rear leg, knee. Bring that leg back, same side kick. Then we go opposite, rear cross, lead knee, lead kick, and back, okay? So if you're orthodox, it's going to be left punch, right knee, right kick, Right punch, left knee, left kick. If you're southpaw, it's gonna be the opposite. Right punch, left knee, left kick. Left punch, right knee, right kick. You guys got it? Cool, then we'll drop down to a low plank. So you're on your elbows, but I want you to do jumping jacks from here. So you're gonna go out and in with your feet. Out and in. All right, simple, easy one from here. Then after 60 seconds of that, we're gonna come up to our palms for a high plank, but we're gonna do mountain climbers. And you can go straight up and down with your knees, or you can go to the opposite elbow and get a little twist in there. After 60 seconds of this, we go right to our back, and then we do shin taps. So arms and legs are extended. As we crunch up, we slap our shins and go back down. 
You do that for 60 seconds, then you pause the video, rewind, we go right back to the combo. Then you go right back to the low plank jacks. Then you go to the mountain climbers, then you go to the shin taps, and then you rewind it again. You do it again, same combo, low jacks, mountain climbers, and then you finish with the shin taps. All right, you guys ready? We're gonna do it in real speed, 60 seconds each station. Try to pick, start off slow, make sure you get the, uh, the mechanics down, then pick it up, and then get a nice workout with it. All right, we're starting with our combo. Jab, rear knee, rear kick in three, two, one, go. Jab, rear knee, rear kick. Cross, switch knee, switch kick. Bang, 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 bang. And remember, they don't have to be head kicks. You can throw the knee to the body and it can be a low kick. Cross, switch knee, low kick. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. We're more than halfway there, guys. Keep it up. Keep that intensity high. Now that you got the movements down, each strike should break a bone. Time for one more, bang, and drop down. On your forearms and elbows, and feet are going out and in, out and in, out and in. Make sure you're getting quality breaths here. Not only full inhales, but also full exhales. Create that space in your lungs for more oxygen. Keep that core tight, engage the glutes. <sighs> Halfway there, guys. 30 more seconds of this. Then we go up to our palms. And we got mountain climbers. Great for the hips, same motions. When we throw the knees. Great for the core, the back, the forearms. Right now you should be feeling it in your back, in your calves hips, and good, come up to the, to the palms, high plank, and we got mountain climbers. Like I said, you can twist, bring the knee to the opposite elbow, or straight up and down. Doing good, guys, keep running. Like I said, we're picking the intensity up. Not supposed to be easy. If you wanna be a fighter, you wanna even train like a fighter, not supposed to be easy. This is how fighters earn that respect. Pushing through when they want to give up. Halfway through, 30 seconds. Shin taps in 20 seconds. Keep that intensity high. 15 seconds. Less than 10 now. Keep pushing. Five. Four, three, two, one, onto your back, right to shin taps. Gotta grind here, guys, gotta work. That's 20 seconds in, 40 seconds to go. about all the calories you're burning. Think about the endurance that you're building, both mentally and physically. 20 seconds to go. We'll get a short rest after this, and we're gonna do two more sets. Don't let that defeat you. Stay strong. Less than 10. Five, four, three, Two, one, stand it up. Feel free to pause the video, give yourself a short rest. And sure, it can be two minutes if you need it. But also, when you go back to your combo, throwing the jab, the rear knee, the rear kick, use this as an active recovery. So the sooner you can get back to moving while catching your breath, it's gonna be more realistic to a fight, right? 
there was a, a, a tough clinch or a scramble if it was MMA and you're out of, out of breath, but the fight's not over. You look up at the clock, you still got three minutes to go. Well, you better be jabbing, moving, throwing the teeps, throwing your knees, throwing your kicks. So instead of just waiting here for a full two minutes, try to jump right back into it. Back. Keep good technique, but it doesn't have to be super intense. Enough for them to respect it. Bang, that's a bloody nose. Bang, knock the wind out of him. Bang, he stumbled now. Boom, ooh, the right straight hurt him. Ooh, he didn't see the switch knee. That one may have broken a rib. Switch kick, bang. All right, so try to keep the form correct. And the intensity, like I said, that you can be catching your breath during those movements. Then it goes right back to the low planks, jacks. Then you got the mountain climbers. Then you finish with chin taps. So pause, rewind if you have to. Do it all again, two more sets. All right, so by now you should be out of breath, sweating, muscles fatigued, you should be getting a good workout in. And if you wanna do a little bit more, do another set. Or you can freestyle shadow box. Do a round, do three rounds, do five rounds of two minutes, three minutes. All right, and you can practice the combos that we just did. Jab, rear knee, rear kick, cross, lead knee, lead kick. Or you can freestyle, work any punches, kicks, knees, elbows, takedowns, and defenses you want. Now we're gonna go into a cool down where we're gonna work our balance first, and then we're gonna finish with a full body stretch. Okay, the balance drill looks like this. So, once again, so, and finally one more, so, and back, okay? So what I'm doing here is I'm throwing a roundhouse kick, but I'm keeping my knee bent, and I'm catching it with the swinging arm, right? So when we throw a roundhouse kick, we do the Dracula guard first. This scissor motion happens when we swing, but I want you to actually hook your hand and catch at the bottom half of your shin. Catch the kick. Now I'm continuing to kick into it. So I'm trying to extend my leg and I'm bringing my hips forward. So I'm in line. My knee is in line with my hip, is in line with the opposite shoulder. So if you're here, no good. I want you to bring the hip forward, drive the shin into the palm and balance here for five seconds. Five, not one, two, three, four, five. I want one, two, three, four, five. Back down. We're gonna do that 10 times. So 10 on the right, 10 on the left. One, two, three, four, five. The less movement on that support leg, the better. So even when I'm trying to find and catch my balance, I want that to be a minimal. Think about a gymnast. When they stick the landing, they get a 10 out of 10 when they get a nice stick. Not when they go and they catch it. So when you throw the kick, I want there to be bang, minimal movement. Five seconds, stabilize your muscles in the feet and the ankles and the calf. Make sure your head is over your support leg. Right, so if I go to the side, I don't want you to be leaning back like this. I want your head over the support leg, opposite hand up. I want the shin to be kicking into the fingers. I want the hips forward in line with the knee. Then I come back down, all right? Once you do that for 10 reps, then we're gonna to go to our cool down stretch. So feel free to pause it here and then come on back. Okay, let's start our stretch by opening up the hips here. And we're gonna to continue to work the balance as we do it. So what I'm gonna have you do is bring your hands to heart center. All right, in Muay Thai we call this the Y, a sign of respect, but also a symbol of balance, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep it right here in our heart center, a nice balanced position. And I want you to really focus on the balance of your feet, rooted into the ground. Imagine your feet are made up of wooden blocks and each corner is drilled into the ground. Now I want you to loosen up the screws in your right foot and lift that leg up. So under the ball of your foot first, then lift that knee up as high as you can. But still, that support leg, I want that deeply rooted into the ground. So use everything from the foot, the ankle, the calf, the knee, the quadricep, the glute, the hip, everything is activated and we're staying nice and steady. Good, now I want you to bring the knee out to the side. Without rotating your body, just try to isolate the movement of the hip and leg. Bring it forward again, and now we're going to step it back into a low lunge. So I want you to find your balance. You're gonna to start to tilt forward, kick the heel back as if you're throwing a back kick, reach back as far as you can as the lead leg bends, place that foot on the ground, and then you can drop the knee to the ground. Sweep your arms up, up overhead. And I want you to feel this stretch now 
as you bring your energy of your hips forward, you just feel the stretch in the front of the leg that's behind you. Okay, keep the arms up overhead. Deep breath. Full exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Good, let's start to put the weight into the lead leg again. And we're gonna balance again as we swing the knee back up. Bring the hands back to heart center. And place that foot back down. Good, shake it out. Now we're just gonna switch to the opposite leg now. So root the opposite foot now into the ground. All four corners of your foot drilled into the ground. You can't go anywhere. Activate the calf, the knee, the quad, the glute, the hip as we raise the opposite knee as high as we can. Again, tilt that leg out to the side without rotating the body. And bring it back to center. Now, we're going to kick the heel back as we tilt forward slightly, bending the lead knee, extending the rear leg back until our toes touch the ground. Bring that knee to the ground. Swoop the arms up overhead. You can also take a small step with the lead foot if you're gonna get more of a stretch in that hip. And deep breaths here. You want at least three. Imagine you're bringing that breath not just in through your nose and to your chest, but down into the, the stomach, even as low as the hips, into the area that we're stretching. Really visualize sending that breath down. One more breath. Again, we're gonna put some weight into the lead leg as we come forward, bring that knee back up as we bring hands back to heart center, and gently bring that foot back down. All right, awesome. Now from here, we're just gonna swing our arms up overhead, take a breath, in. Exhale as we fold forward, touching the hands to the mat, you can bend your knees. Now we're gonna just step back into a high plank or push up position, okay? Let's just hang out here for a second, make sure we're in proper alignment. Hips shouldn't be dropped down, butt should not be up in the air. Whew. Now we're gonna bring our butt up in the air. We're gonna do a downward facing dog. So TP your body, butt up in the air, and I want your shoulders not to shrug near your ears. I want them to move in the opposite direction. So bring your shoulders down your back. Create space from your shoulders and your ears. All right, you can have a slight bend in your knees. You can also pedal your feet out, get a nice stretch and the calf muscles, but then I want you to get steady. All right, shoulders down your back, butt up in the air. And good, now we're gonna go back forward again to the plank position or push-up position. Flip your feet so the tops of your feet, the part where your shoelaces are, are on the ground. All right, now drop down into the bottom of a push-up so that your chest comes down to the floor. Now, I want you to push the tops of your feet, the part of your shoelaces, into the floor so that your knees come off the ground. Good. Now, I want you to start to lift your chest up off the ground and take a breath in. And back down as you exhale. Good. This time, as we inhale, we're going to extend our arms so our hips come off the ground. Make sure your knees are off the ground. So keep that pressure in the shoelaces. Ready? Inhale and exhale down. One more like that. Inhale, extend the arms. Exhale down. Good, let's come to a seated position. Cross your legs. And we're just gonna do some low back twists and that'll finish out our workout of the day, okay? So we're gonna take the right hand, go to the left knee. Other hand acts as a kickstand behind us. And I don't really want you to force with your arms here. I more so want you to be able to rotate your body just by using your core muscles. So as you inhale, I want you to feel the crown of your head lift up, body gets tall. As we exhale, we just feel ourselves rotate away a little bit more. Again, inhale, get tall, fill up the body with air, and exhale, twist. One last time, inhale, exhale, Slowly release, come back to center. Opposite hand, opposite knee. 
reach behind, and again, try to do this with the core muscles, not so much the arms. Inhale, fill up the body as much as you can with that oxygen. Exhale, twist. Staying tall. Feel like there's balloons in your body, in your lungs, and you're inhaling them as much as you can. Fill them up as much as you can. A little bit more. Exhale, stay tall, just twist a little bit more. One last breath in. Exhale. And release. All right, guys, there you have it. Class one complete Muay Thai focusing on balance. A lot of stuff where we work the calf muscles, the small stabilizer muscles in our feet and our ankles. Do a lot of core work as well. It's a lot of, a lot of ways that we can um, uh, get power in our shots is, is within the core, but also that's going to help us with our balance. We're throwing our knees and throwing our kicks, punches, everything. You ask any high level Muay Thai fighter what the most important aspect of Muay Thai is, I can almost guarantee they're gonna tell you it's balance. So make sure you work on it. We can always get better at it, get steady, less shaky, less recovery steps, especially with that kick catch drill. All right, so feel free to run it back. But like I said, tomorrow, uh, you got Vince the Anomaly teaching wrestling. It's gonna be a lot of leg endurance stuff. So get ready for that. And that can be found for free on fighttips.com. See you guys there. Until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the underdogs.